today I'm going to show you two different techniques on how to create snow in After Effects. The example on the left creates more realistic looking snow, whereas the one on the right is a bit more cartoonish and playful, but it does allow us to use any shape or snowflake we want. We're going to start with the first example, the one on the left. So let's get started. I'm just going to create a new composition. Let's just call this example one. I'm happy with the size, background happy with that being black, okay. And what we're going to do is create a new solid. So layer, new and solid. Let's just call this snow. Make sure the color of your solid is white, the color of snow, so okay, okay. And there's our white solid. And let's go to our effects and presets. And let's search for CC snowfall. Let's drag this onto our snow layer. And you won't see anything, and that's because we have composite with original ticked. If we just untick this, and you'll see there's our snow. And already it's looking pretty good. If you can't see your snow, it might be because you've got this button clicked here, the transparency, so make sure that's off, and you'll see our black background, or if you want to drag anything beneath this layer, that's what you will see. So up in our CC Snowfall effect up here, we can change how many flakes we want. So I'm going to half this from 10,000 to 5,000. Let's up our size a bit. So let's go to 10. And let's just up the spread a bit. Let's just play this through. And it's as easy as that. So you have lots of properties you can play with. We can even add some wind and up this. Let's get a bit of variation in that wind just so it doesn't go in one direction. You can even add some wiggle. And let's keep playing it through just to see what you're doing and how it's affecting it. Okay, I don't mind that. I think there's a bit too much wind, so I'm just gonna drop that down to 50. And there we go, technique number one is as simple as that. So let's move on to technique number two. And let's just go back to our project and create another composition. I'll call this example two. I'll leave these the same. Okay, let's add another new solid. We can leave this as it is. The background color doesn't matter as much in this one, so we can leave that wherever we want. And this time, rather than CC Snowfall, we're going to do CC Particle World. Let's drag this on. And if we just play this, just to show you how it looks without touching any of these settings. There we go. It couldn't look further from snow, but we're going to fix that. So let's go up to our effect up here. And I'm just going to drop down the grid and guides, and I'm just going to turn off all our guides, because we don't need to see the floor or any of the guides. So let's turn those off. So the first thing we're going to do is down in physics, drop this down. And rather than explosive, we're going to go with cone axis. So a few of these look like it would have worked, but this was the one that I found the easiest to work with. So I'm going to go with cone axis. And then down here in the extra angle, I'm just going to make this 180. So the opposite of what it was. So it's then going down. So if I play this, you'll see they are now going down, which is what we want. And then in the producer, the one above physics, we're just going to widen our radius X. So let's just widen that just so it fills our, fills our entire composition. And then on the position Y, I'm just going to bring it up so it comes from the, the top, from the sky. Play this. And there we go. So that's going way too fast for snow. So let's bring our velocity down. So again, in physics, currently one, let's make that 0 0.2. So a lot slower. That's not too bad. But what we are going to do is rather than bring it any lower, let's just up our gravity or bring our gravity down. Sorry. So rather than 0.5, let's go 0 0.01. Let's see how that is. That's a bit better. As you can see, each particle has a life. So at the moment, this life is way too short. So that's longevity. So let's bring this up to, let's bring it up to 10 seconds. So way more than we need. 
then you'll see it does reach the bottom of our screen. You may want your snow to start with zero snow and then snow being dropped. What I want is it to start with a full screen. So what we can do is bring our playhead to the very start and on our layer, we can just simply click and drag to the left until that snow is filling our screen to about here and then just drag the end to the end of our composition. Now, if we play this through, we will have continuous snow from the very start all the way to the very end without having to wait for that screen to fill up with snow. So unless you want a really heavy snowfall, there are too many, they're not snowflakes yet, but let's call them snowflakes. There are way too many of them. So our birth rate, which is two, let's bring this down to 0 0.2. So there's a lot less of them. Yep, that's looking much closer to what we're after. So let's actually make these snowflakes now. So if we create another composition, let's call this one snowflake. And this needs to be quite a small composition, somewhere between 100 and 200 pixels. So let's just go with 200. Make sure this is the same length as your composition or longer and click OK. And in here, this is where we want our snowflake. So we can put any shape in here we want. I'm just going to do a circle for now. Make that white. OK. And then what we want to do is in our example two or whatever your composition is called, drag in our snowflake, the one we just created and turn it off. We don't need to see it just as long as it's in our composition. Back up to our solid layer, which I shall just name snow. Back to our effects panel and down under physics in particle, let's drop that down. In the particle type, we want to use textured square right near the bottom. And once we've selected that, we will see this texture box. And once we've selected that, we will see this texture appear. Click this, then in texture layer, we want to select our snowflake. There we go. You'll see that our circle has appeared, but you will also notice that the color is uh, not correct. This takes the color from the effect rather than the composition. So down here in the birth color and death color, let's make these both white. And let's also, while we're here, up the opacity to 100, just so we don't get any see-through bits here, 100. Let's just play this through. Yeah, okay, that's not too bad. You might have noticed that at the very top, we're getting some transparency in our particles. And that is because of the opacity map, which we will find here somewhere. Here it is here. So it's under particle, opacity map. And then this is our opacity map. So you will see that the opacity starts at zero goes up to 100, stays at 100, and then goes back down to zero at its depth. Because our longevity is 10 seconds, we won't ever see the end because that'll be right down here. If I was to drop this down to two, you'll see that at the end, as these particles are dying, they are also fading off. Put that back on 10. And we just want our opacity map to be 100 all the time. So it's as simple as just clicking in this box and just dragging along the top just like that, or you can create your own map of what, however you want these to be fading throughout their life. We just want them to be 100 constantly. So fill this in so it's all that darker gray color, and they'll be at 100% opacity throughout the entirety of the video. Let's just play this through again. Like I mentioned earlier, you can drop anything you want in your snowflake composition. I do have a snowflake I used earlier so I'm just going to grab this from an older composition. All you need to do is a simple Google search for free vector or free snowflake vector. That's all I did and I found this one. So if you wanted to do the same you can find many snowflakes out there or you can just draw one yourself. And I'm going to copy this snowflake and just put it into our composition. Let's close that one. So now we have a snowflake in here rather than that circle. Let's go back to our example two. And you'll see these are now all snowflakes. So they are a bit smaller now. So back to our particle world. And I'm just going to up the birth size to 0.5. And I'm going to match that with the depth size. 
So I want them to be one continuous size rather than starting small and getting bigger or vice versa. So here's our snowflakes. And I'm just going to play this one more time. Okay, and that is the second and final technique all finished. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Thank you.